This is the Chambly Garrison, the recruitment. You get some beverage, probably some wine. Back in the day, I don't think they drank a lot of water because water was actually not healthy. <laughs> Good day everybody, welcome to another video. Uh, this is gonna be a little different from my average urban exploration. Uh, we're visiting the wonderful town of, um, sorry, I forgot where we are again. Fa Chambly. Fa Chambly, which is the fort of Chambly. Fortification that was made in yeah. the 1800s. 1800s, this place was built for fortification. But my wife knows all the history of it but uh, maybe I'll fill you in a little bit more later. Um, so, we're gonna go check out this place. It's not that big in terms of a fort, but back in the day, I guess it was enough with all the cannons and stuff and to protect this corner. And uh, hopefully we're gonna get a chance to get inside and take a look at what the place looked like back in the day for all you guys out there. And uh, this is, uh, I think it's free. So if you're ever in Chambly and you want to see Fort Chambly, you can always come down here in Quebec uh, in Chambly and uh, check out the fort, take a look at it. It's a wonderful, beautiful Saturday and there's a lot of festivities and activities going on and I fi we figured, well, why not come and check out Fort Chambly? So I'm going to take you inside, okay guys? See you in a second. Okay, she's signed. Okay. Okay. What are you going to be? Yeah. So this is the, the, the fort guys and uh, we have some, uh, I guess, some fort rangers here. As you can see, the, the cool architecture here, the, the rocks and the stones. Those are gardens. Those are gardens? Yeah. Okay, so these are gardens. I don't know. Oh, it looks like pumpkins. Pumpkins and some corn. So they got a little tower up here. I don't know if that's a room. You got all the different windows. Oh, we're gonna get a chance to go inside. Uh, I think we have some dates on the wall here. 1882? Okay, we're about to head in. We're going inside. Oh, we got some live music over here happening. <laughs>
Oh yeah, you can rock out here. It's actually pretty cool here. Think of it. There's all kinds of activities, and uh, we haven't even gotten inside to take a look at the place yet. Are we allowed to go inside too? Yeah, you want to walk around out there. Treasure hunt. We're doing a treasure hunt. So we're looking for. On cherche ces endroits là. On va se promener et on va les trouver. Venez vous en. On va se promener et on va les trouver. Vous voulez pas mettre des chapeaux? Okay, so my boys are gonna get dressed up like uh, the pioneers from back in the day with the, the suits and on. We're gonna go do a little treasure hunting. Oh, they look so cute. Uh, I'm gonna show you in a second. <laughs> hey, Matthew, you got more. Look at the chapeau. Oh, he's so cute. You got more. <laughs> hey, Matthew, uh, tell me you don't want a chapeau. Oh, they got guns! <gasps> they got guns! Okay, we're going into the entrance here. I guess we're going to get a full view of what it looks like inside. These old bricks. These old. Oh. <laughs> so here we... Uh, Okay, I was the way around 1665 I was built. Oh, yeah? So yeah. they expanded a bit. It was in wood. It was in wood? Yeah, and then they did this, this, and then they fortified it into uh -huh. okay, what it is today. Let's take a look. So this was apparently all in wood first, and they kind of modified it to later make it look like this. Out of out of building with rocks, stone. Whoa, what was that? Okay, whoa. This is a little trippy here. I was like, looked like there was glass right here. Yeah, <laughs> Archaeologists first thought they could find only two oh, yeah? points on the site. They oh, wow. I love the crawling. What? My little gift. What? See what? Just like oh, okay. Storehouse. This is where we're spending the time with the general's oh, yeah? lodge and provisions kept. They also discovered a single use coffee pot on the site, an extremely rare piece. Okay, so we're going to go check it over here. There's another whole section. Oh, we have like uh, some kind of tool here. Ah, oh, it's an Indian tomahawk. Wow, you do not want to get hit by one of these. I think this was used to in wars. Reproduction. Oh, it's a reproduction of the original from the Museum Maritime and Military de Montreal. Okay. Very cool. So like I said, this is like out of the norm for me, but this is a little bit of like urban culture for you guys to uh, kind of watch. So um, I'm going to show you a little bit more stuff here. I think these are like pieces of, that's a spade. This was a piece of a spade or a shovel. Uh, Fasten knife. Wow. And this, <laughs> a pioneer sword. Wow. Very not much left of it. <laughs> As you can see, that was the sword. And what he's holding in his hand there is what's here. And the spade is what is here. Cool or what? Huh? 
let's go take a look around some more of the stuff here. Oh, we got some clothing here. This is what they wore back in the day. I think I lost the kids. The kids and the wife. Oh, we got some more stuff here. I guess these are like toys. Toys made using an 18th century method and styles. Hmm, interesting. Nothing like our Xboxes and uh, iPhones of the today to amuse our, our kids. Oh, we have more tools here. Chisels and hammers. This is what they use for carving. This is a plane. They call the Junior Trying Plane. 18th century. This is what they use for shaving and smoothing up wood. I don't, I don't know where they went. Oh, there's, there's a model of a castle here. Uh, oh, actually, it's the fort. <laughs> what am I talking about? This is the actual fort that we're in right now. Okay. So I think I'm going to have to try and look for the kids and the wife. I don't know where they went. I don't know if they went back outside. It's so hot in here. <sighs> oh, some air. Wow. There's like water right here through the glass, you can see. We're going to go in the back after. Let's go see if we can find the family. Oh, no. Okay. Powder magazines. This is where I guess they stored the powder for the guns. Okay, let's go in. Check this out. Okay. I don't know, I guess they went upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Oh. Oh, I see them all the way down there at the end of the hall. So here they have some more stuff. Uh, this is a heart, hearth swivel toaster. Wow. This is what they used to toast their bread back in the day. This looks a little too modern. I don't know what that was. Oh, I think you have to smell something to smell. Oh, look at this. They had little tables and stuff for children to sit down and eat at. Okay. Wow, look at this. This is the Chambly Garrison. The recruitment. They get some beverage, probably some wine. Back in the day, I don't think they drank a lot of water. 
because water is actually not healthy. <laughs> oh, look at this. You got spears and swords. Okay. Whoa, this is so cool. Check this out, guys. Wow. Check out the weapons. Uh, they're all ready to shoot. Take down the enemy. Man, these guns are nice. Hello, Monsieur. Uh, we have an original here. And this uh, are the lead, lead bullets and the powder that you use in the musket. Ah. Wow. Uh, and this looks like the type of animals that they would hunt. The, the Canadian goose, uh, wild turkey, or a pheasant. I don't know what this one is. And the turtle dove. The ruffled, oh, this is a ruffled goose. Gross. And this one is the Canada goose. Okay. Oh, it looks like somebody was getting a haircut here. Oh, we got a child in the back sleeping in the bed. While they cut the hair, they worked at the same time. Interesting concept. It is so warm in here. I am sweating so badly. Whew. Okay, these are the parasites that they had to deal with back in the day. Crab loves. Uh, they even have little samples in, in here. If you can see them. Uh, uh, they have the dog flea, the head louse, the black fly. The deer fly, and of course the mosquito, which all carry diseases. And uh, this is different stuff that they use for spices. And they use that to grind it up. Oh, and they also played a little gambling. They love the poker and the pipe. Sorry guys if the light's not that great. Alright. There's actually a lot to see here. Which is kind of interesting. I'm checking out this stuff. Patriot smoking tobacco. I think they still actually make Patriot. Huh. That's kind of cool. What's here? Uh, we have no light on. Why is there no light for this guy? We need to see. We have a table back here with a quill and pen paper. He's warming up by the fire, it looks like. Composition. Okay, members of the campaign of the campaign French de la Marine Canada. 1750. 
I guess this was the Declaration Award. Yeah, Declaration Award to a knight or original date unknown. Huh. <sighs> I need air conditioning. It's so hot. Okay, ah, oh, there's a fan. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can go find the, the kids and the wife. Get some air inside. You know, other than information that they're providing, this place is actually pretty cool. It's like the inside of the building is really nice. Like they have all kinds of st stuff on wildlife here. Blocks that you can't turn. <laughs> was your typical village. This is like a merchant boat. Named the Blurry was the most important merchant in Chambly. Outside. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's pretty neat. It kind of gives you an idea what inside one of the houses look like. Okay, I'll see you guys outside. I gotta get some fresh air. So this is a well that they had in the building at the time. Well, it's still here. And it looks like people threw some money in it to make a wish. But this is the well that they used, I guess, for water. Kind of give you an idea how deep it goes. Of course, there's no water in there now, I don't think. Just some coins. Uh, we're getting a breeze. I don't know which way to go now. Uh, I think it came from this way. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go see the musician. <laughs> okay, I haven't been on that side. Oh, there's the there's the wife and kids. Woo! It's so nice out here. It's so hot inside. What did you get? Oh, you got batches! Let me see! Wow! Let me see! Oh, cool! We got all of them. Yeah, I got an album. Uh, looks like it might rain. Yes, I think it's going to be big storm. Big storm, huh? Lots of rain this summer, man. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you hear the thunder, I think. Oh, where are we going? 
Ah, uh, the thunderstorm is coming. We can always seek shelter inside. I wonder, are you gonna go get the car? <laughs> no, we're gonna walk it. It's gonna rain. Okay. So, because of the rain, we're gonna have to leave because we can't. It's too warm inside, and we already seen pretty much everything. Um, and it's starting to rain right now, and I don't want to get my camera damaged. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's many more like this that's going to come to kind of show you the culture and uh, the urban side of things. Yeah, I know. Huh? That's cool. So I want to thank everybody here at Chambly for it. For uh, letting me get in, and uh, we'll come back again another time. All right, ciao, bell. Hi guys, uh, we just got hit with an amazing thunderstorm and rain as we left Port Chamblay. So I just want to give you guys an idea of how bad it is. There's a bottle on there. The thing. Yeah. It was really bad a few seconds ago, worse than this. But you're gonna see lightning and thunder. Hear light, see the lightning and hear the thunder. Oh, I'm soaked. We're all hiding underneath this uh, this restaurant bar to get shelter while we wait for the rain to pass us. It seems to be going that way. Is the ice cream here? You want, you want to eat outside the ice cream? Okay, so it looks like we're going for ice cream. Oh, there's a lightning. You're going to hear thunder in a second. Yeah, I got to put my camera on. Give me a second. Okay. Whoa, you hear that? Okay, I got to go. Ciao, Bell.